Where do you think you're going, mister? I'm going to play some poker. I'll see you later, okay? I'm gonna rip it up. Last time you ripped it up, I had to work overtime for a month. Let's face it, you oversized dingleberry, you lack a very important thing. Skill. Oh snap. Hey, I got skills little lady. I've just been applying them wrong. I came up with a foolproof plan on how to cash in. So be prepared to be wowed. And what this foolproof plan? And how are you going to hide your tell? What tell? I don't have a tell. Think of a winning hand, and try not to show it. Okay, got it. What hand am I thinking of? Straight flush to the ten. Oh, that tell. Crappers, you're right. My fart tell. I will have to court my balloon knot. You're not going to be drinking, are you? No. There is a bar there, but it's in a different room we play in the back room. I see. Liquor in the front and poker in the rear. Just keep it that way. If you say so sweet e e e e e e e score. So what's this foolproof plan? Well, as it happens, it involves exactly what you just called me on. Tells. Oh please. You're not good enough to spot people's tells who are you kidding? You have a room temperature IQ. Thanks for the loads of confidence. I swear all you do is put me down. My self-esteem is so low that even in bed I fantasize that I'm someone else. My plan is this. Picking the best place to spot tells. And where's that genius? Foxwoods. A home game, the VFW series. I think you need to stop playing. You talk so much crap, your mouth looks like a butthole. Give it up, and stick to your day job practicing your cursive handwriting and drooling. Ha 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 ha. No. I need to go where my skills are far superior to anyone, and the tells they give up are more obvious than that nasty zit on your face. And where's that? At St. Corky's Recreation Hall. The special needs gathering center for the group homes. What the hell are you talking about? Think about it for a second, okay? Time is up. You go and sit at the Down Syndrome table. Nice guys, but not a poker player in the bunch, but big money being pushed in the middle. Not only that but all the snacks you can think of. Jello, chips, beef jerky, old smelly cheese, orange soda, cherry soda, vanilla soda, regular seltzer water, free medications. I know what snacks are. Anyway, the tells are there for the taking and these goofy bastards will just be handing their money over to me. Easy as pie, it will probably go like this. Retard number one will be holding his hand and making a big bet. I'm putting him on either two of a kind or a full house. This is so offensive, but please continue. How are you putting him on those hands? Because of his tell. At that precise moment, the song playing on the radio is Garth Brooks' hit, Two of a Kind, working on a full house. Tard number one was laughing with his hand over his mouth and giving thumbs up to the radio. He gave it away. What a simpleton. I then look over to Tard number two. He is chewing on his 10 pound tongue. Now, I know that his tongue usually looks like sponge that got into a ultimate fighting match with a blender. But this time he drew blood, because he was excited. Lots of red blood flowing like a retarded river. I automatically put him on a diamond or heart flush. So simple, yet so brilliant. And your next sin, heir. I mean victim. Yes. Tard number three. This I thought would be tricky. But I put him on a straight right away. Guess how I figured that out. How? That dum-dum was holding his face cards towards me. He was just looking at the blue designs in the back. That guy had no chance. And the last one? Well, I knew he was bluffing. How? Because that idiot folded after that flop. And he continued betting after the river. Talk about not all there, laugh laugh chuckle point. Well, it sounds like you have a plan, just don't let them figure out your tell. I won't, I will be corked. Oh, and honey. Yes. Lust remember. If you can't spot the retard after 30 minutes, you are the retard. Thank you wife wife wifey wife bye bye then.